Damn, what's that smell? It's coming from here, I guess. Yeah. And that's really, really hot. I know what it is. My brake caliper is stuck again. Hey guys, this is Jordan here from NSM Overland and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna see how to deal with a stuck brake caliper out there on the trails without the proper tools. This happened to me uh, the very first time in Finland, actually in the middle of nowhere. And at first I didn't even knew it was the brake caliper. But after a quick check, I figure out what it was. So the problem is, this is a very common problem with our little Subarus. The fact is the seal is not that good. And if you're overlanding, off-roading, going in mud, very wet condition, very often, this might uh, be a problem for you too. Okay, so the, the symptoms of a stuck brake calipers are, first of all, an higher fuel consumption. You also might feel that your car is not um, as powerful as before like it's a it's sluggish and then if it's really bad when you're gonna stop first of all you're gonna notice a weird handling a weird vibration in the steering wheel and when you stop uh, you're definitely gonna smell it it's gonna smell the, the burn brakes your rim is probably gonna be very very hot and uh, once in Latvia it was really really bad and it happens that when I stopped for our camp spot, my disc brake was glowing red. And that was very, very bad. Because obviously this problem will cause an excessive wear on your brake pads and it will destroy your disc brake as well. So you might take care of it quickly. And before starting, I just wanted to make sure everyone understood uh, the point of this video. This is about trial fixes, um, bush mechanic. So I'm not gonna use the proper tools and this technique is gonna be enough to continue your journey. But if you don't do more mechanic on it, it will happen again and again and again. And at a certain point, uh, it's gonna be a real problem. So with this technique, you're gonna be able to continue your journey or to head to, uh, to the nearest garage to get it fixed for good. But it will not fix your brake caliper forever because uh, once it started to be stuck the only so solution is really to change the brake caliper or to rebuild it so now let's get to it so obviously the first thing you want to do here is to jack up the car and remove the wheel You can definitely see here the marks of the disc brake caused by the, the stuck piston. It's pretty obvious. And you want to be careful here because everything might be very, very hot. So if it's too hot, um, I suggest you to wear gloves. Then you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket just to, to remove the brake caliper. There are two bolts here. Okay, so here and here. Man, two little bolts here. You can remove your brake caliper.
It's pretty heavily stuck. Oh, okay. This is like crazy stuck. You know, this is not normal. If you can't remove it easily, uh, there is a problem. Okay. Okay, then you can put it here. Be careful of the brake lines here. If you feel you're gonna drop it, you can secure the brake caliper to the spring here. It's just a, a strap or something. And if you look at it, you can already see which one is not going back in and which one caused the problem. Check this out. I don't know if it's that obvious on the video, but this one is more out than this one and it caused a problem. Okay, so there's two different techniques, but for both of them, uh, the first tape is the same and we're gonna use this and this. The idea is just to use your thin knife to pry the seal, get under it and just pour some WD-40 and once again we all know that WD-40 is not the best with rubber seals, uh, they end up hitting them but the goal here is to continue our journey and this is all we have so this is the least of our problems okay and as I said this is a quick fix and at the end you still have to rebuild your caliper to change it so here I don't really mind using WD-40 on my seals if you have a plastic uh, like plastic toothpick or something like this yeah it's better but all I have here is a knife so you still want to be careful with your seals and not cut them but you put your knife just under it yeah pry them and then you can put some WD-40 in there okay and you can do that all the way around if you have some times in front of you you can just put your brake caliper like this and wait for WD to to make his magic but here we want to keep going so this is the first step and I'm gonna show you the second step okay so the first technique I use before knowing the other one is just to smash those pistons in and out uh, because when you're gonna smash this one the other one will go out of the the brake caliper and you're gonna do that on each side and to to get them in and out evenly this technique works if you're out there all by yourself but if you have your lovely wife or girlfriend or a friend with you uh, your friend can push the brake pedal so both pistons will go out and then you can smash them back so this is the same for both techniques you just want to not damage your seals uh, could be a nightmare but here I have uh, something you know to hold the, the springs and it perfectly fits into the piston so I can smash them you have to be careful here and sit your brake caliper on your struts and not on the disc uh, because you're gonna obviously damage it so yeah there you go smash it and we can already see that this one went in and the other went out okay so I think you got the point here uh, you just have to make your piston works uh, using a bit of your own force this technique works I've used it several times before knowing the second technique which is way easier and way faster and all you need for this second technique is this uh, a pair of pliers or a plier I don't know it's a pair of pliers or just a plier <laughs> let me know in the comment section so the ID with this plier is just to grab your piston the key thing here is not to grab the seal uh, this will be a real problem because you're gonna end up uh, tearing it off and you don't want that so really be careful of this seal so just grab your piston and then 
you're gonna turn it on itself and it might be a bit tricky when it's really really stuck really rusted inside but with that you're gonna be back on the road within 20 minutes uh, because when you turn it the piston by itself go in as well and it, it works like a charm this is the technique i've used maybe four times because the, the brake caliper just keep getting stuck i use it at least four times and now really in 20 minutes from the moment i stop get the jack off leave the car 20 minutes and we're back on the road so really simple grab your piston turn it on itself and it will get unstuck let's grab this piston really really be careful of the seal okay once you got a good grip you're gonna turn it on itself on this side it's easier to turn it downwards well for me at least be careful to not rip the plier it can be pretty it can be pretty tricky at first okay you can see here that it starts moving Woo! but it's really really badly stuck here the car i've been sitting on the very wet uh parking spot for a month without moving so this is really so this is pretty bad okay so check this out it was really really stuck so i waited a bit smash it put some more wd-40 try to turn it again and again it was really really difficult but now you can see that is moving and this is the force you need to turn it like normally if it's not stuck okay so this is this is nice and smooth i can probably say that this piston is unstuck you Once you feel that the piston is smoothly turning on itself, you can try on the other one, which is not supposed to be stuck as well. And if they both turn like the same way, using the same force, you're good to go. Then you can put everything back together, make sure both brake pads are here. Sometimes they tend to, to fall on the ground when you smash it. Now it should be easier to fit it back in yep way easier uh, also make sure that your uh, disc brake guard is not uh, really badly bent or if it doesn't touch your uh, disc brake you can use your plier to like bend it back yeah mine is pretty bad shape anyway and you put your two 14 millimeter bolts in. Yes. Okay, so now your brake caliper is unstuck and you can continue your journey. Just before going back on the road for real, just make some brake checks at very low speed just to make sure everything is working well, you never know. Anyway, I'm gonna say that once again, this is not um, a proper repair. This is a trial fix, some push mechanics. Uh, this is a technique when you're out there on the trails without the proper tools 
because this is gonna last like for one, two, three weeks. If you're lucky, then it will get bad again. Yeah, I think two, three weeks, even a month if you're really lucky, but then it will go bad again uh, because when you're doing this, obviously the, the seal uh, takes some beating as well. It's not very good, it's not meant to be manipulated that way. And anyway, there you rust inside, that's gonna be, that's gonna rust again and it's a dead end. You'll have to fix that properly uh, for real. And this is what I'm gonna do in a, in a few weeks. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. You can also check my Instagram account, my Facebook page and my merch store. I also wanted to thank all my Patreon for supporting me so well during my journey. And a special thanks to Robert, uh, my good friend from Dragon Riders Travel and he's an Overland Band member as well. And he's the one who told me about this, um, this second technique that works like a charm. So thank you again, Robert. Uh, it saved our day a couple times. And I hope it will save yours as well. So thank you guys for watching and see you next week.